think that's the most difficult part about ALS is your mind stays with you. It's just everything else starts to fail you. It's just really hard to see people go through that kind of struggle. It's been amazing to see how upbeat he is about still working and trying to improve himself with the capabilities that are against him. He's been able to journey through this and it's really inspirational. Make the choice, no pressure. No pressure. Well, bring all the kids. <laughs> yeah, bring all the kids. Oh, man, Definitely. That'll, that'll be part of practice. So I was diagnosed with ALS at the age of 21. When you're 19, 20 years old, you don't think, my hands are all shaky, I can't run as well. I must have ALS. He doesn't dwell on it. So we all just follow his lead. I served up in this event. Uh, my old high school tennis coach said, hey, why don't you come join me as an assistant coach? Now it's been 11 years in coaching and it's, it's given my life purpose. Corey was doing this court opening in Piedmont. I went out there and I met Corey for the first time and I met his family. ALS is a disease that not that many people have because every day someone dies when someone's diagnosed. So there's just not a big pool of people. So I think awareness about the research is really important and Coco is just amazing that she's willing to help us with that. Oh, in the simple. We have four courts in the middle of town and they would need a renovation and the old coach, he thought that all the work I've done over the years that they should name them after me. And so we're raising money for the renovation of the courts. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you have amazing. to come to the next one. I've been a few times now, and I've first done that I met from the courts. And when you watch her play tennis, one of the first things you know is an amazing smile of her. She can be really serious, really fiery, and then make an amazing smile all night up the crowd. When I first met Corey, I was definitely down in the dumps with just my own personal feelings of where I was physically. And you see someone that's so upbeat and so engaged and, oh, Coco, you're gonna come back. And all this is, is like mind blowing to see someone that ha could be so down in the dumps himself. And here I am, I was like, you know what? This, this is crazy, why would I be upset? So whenever you can bring awareness and have a martyr in Corey that can show such positive light to what he's dealing with um, is fantastic. Thank you.